Emmitt Smith is one of the NFL's greatest running backs. In 15 seasons, number 22 rushed for 18,355 yards and scored 175 touchdowns. Smith helped lead America's team, the Dallas Cowboys, to three Super Bowl championships and is currently the NFL's all-time leading rusher. And yet, he says that before he ran a single yard in the NFL, he accomplished far more than that with his imagination on a field across the street from his grandmother's house. I used to imagine what it would be like to do what Jim Brown was doing. I used to imagine what it would be like to be like a Tony Dorsett. I used to imagine what it would be like to be like a Walter Payton. I was imagining Emmett Smith doing exactly what they were doing. Emmett became a Christian at an early age, but it wasn't the number one priority in his life. His dream was to play for the Dallas Cowboys and to become the NFL's all-time leading rusher. But throughout high school, he was told he didn't have the size or the speed to make it in college, much less the NFL. Did it bother you at all? Well, I mean, it, it bothered me to hear them discredit my ability. I used it as, as fuel. I used it as motivation. Uh, I used it as something to keep me going and striving to continue to be successful because they didn't hold my destiny in their hands. Despite the obstacles, in 1987, Emmett earned a scholarship to the University of Florida. But before he left, his grandmother gave him a Bible verse to help him face the challenges that lay ahead. Proverbs 3 and 6. Uh, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Anytime I found myself in a situation, I would lean on that verse. With that verse rooted in his mind, Emmett silenced many of his critics by breaking over 50 records and becoming a top NFL prospect within three seasons. Then in 1990, he was drafted by the Dallas Cowboys. I had been a Cowboys fan since I was a little bitty boy, and my dream has finally became a reality of not only just playing a professional, becoming a professional athlete, but playing for the team that I always wanted to play for. How crazy is that? Emmett joined quarterback Troy Aikman and wide receiver Michael Irvin. Because of their individual ability to make plays, the three became known as the Triplets. Within four seasons, the Cowboys won three Super Bowl championships, and Emmett was on top of the world. But because of all the accolades of being a superstar, he allowed his faith to take a back seat. I was exposed to some stuff that was just off the hook. <laughs> That's all I can say. I was in the club, doing all these things, and I did it. Um, I was thinking about getting married at one point. My mom said, don't get married. You're too young. Go out there and experience what life has to offer, pretty much. And I did. But the 1997 season proved tough for Emmett and the rest of America's team. The injury played Cowboys mustered only a 6 and 10 record. And a banged up Emmett was looking for answers. But he remembered the Bible verse his grandmother gave him. At some point, you, you start saying to yourself, what am I doing? I start asking myself. That means my spirit was, was like churning, like this can't be it. This is not the end to all things. This, this is good for a moment, but it's not that. And so I started just like thirsting. And at that time, I was going through a little bit of turbulence in, in my career. And so it's funny how turbulence itself will make you hold on to something for security. And so the only thing I knew is trust in the Lord and lean down to your own heart and all that ways of knowledge of me shall direct that path. That's when he met Bishop T.D. Jakes. Then I ran into Bishop Jakes, and it all changed right then and there. Uh, I went to uh, the Potter's house. He actually moved to Dallas around in 95, I believe. And I went to a Man Power Conference, Power, Money, and Sex. PMS was, in, was the title mm -hmm. of, uh, of the sermon. And I was sitting there, and he was talking about it, being connected, being corrected to the right source. With his faith as the number one priority, Emmett had one goal he hadn't achieved. But in his 13th season as a Cowboy, Emmett became the NFL's all-time leading rusher. He spent his final two seasons with the Arizona Cardinals until he retired following the 2004 season. Then in 2006, he decided to show that he didn't just have the moves on the field, but on the dance floor as well, on ABC's Dancing with the Stars. And it wasn't quite what he expected. Was Dancing with the Stars out of your comfort zone? Completely, completely out of my comfort zone. Season one, Holyfield did it. Season two, Jerry Rice did it, and Master P did it. After watching the show with Jerry Rice and Master P, <laughs> thank you to Master P. 
Master P set the bar so low there was no way I could fail. <laughs> those white shoes. <laughs> there was, I mean, he set the bar so low, uh, and, and Jerry did such a good job. I felt like, yeah, I could do better. Dancing is a lot difficult, a lot more difficult than people would think. Uh, to have the right posture, uh, to understand the nuances of the steps, uh, to get the routine down pat to where you're not thinking about it. And what I learned by going eight hours, I was able to get the, the steps, the routine, the techniques out of my mind. Once I learned them, I put them all on the side. Then my personality came out. I was able to have more, more fun. Emmett became the season three Dancing with the Stars champion. Once I got to the point where I understood what I was doing, the routine itself, and wasn't able to think about it, I was able to have fun mm. and relax. And that's what made me uh, a pretty decent dancer. In 2010, Emmett was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Today, Emmett is a successful businessman, and together with his wife Patricia, strives to give hope to those who dream big through the Pat and Emmett Smith Charities. He's also written a book entitled Game On, and he hopes to inspire readers to trust God with their dreams and goals. My Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has given me the passion, the love that I have for what it is that I want to do. He has shown me, E, you can do whatever you want to do. Keep me first. You can be whatever you want to be. And I truly believe that. I can walk around with confidence knowing that my God has my back. I can walk around in confidence believing that He has purposed my life for greatness. Not necessarily just in football, maybe in the lives of human beings. Maybe to share this story that God Almighty has, your, has the final say where you go. If you trust in Him with all your heart and lean not onto your own understanding and allow Him to direct your path, I honestly believe you will be successful. But you gotta do your part.